Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Michelle Bennett Copeland, and I am here to present to you Let's Move in Library. One moment, one moment, one moment. One moment. And you might not need to worry about that. How's it going? How's it going? Hello. We have anyone there? Hi, Tiff. Tiffany and Robin, good to see you. And I have a magic mirror with me this morning. So I'm going to be calling you out as I see you log in. Oh, there's Holly. There's Sharonda. Hey, Randy. Holly. And who else? Sarah. Hey, Sarah. You all look lovely today. I love my magic mirror. Who else do we have? Let's wait for a few more friends to join us. I'm so happy that you're here with us for our streaming story time live. My name is Michelle Bennett Copeland, and I am Youth Services Manager at our Central Library downtown. Let's give a few more friends a chance to log into because I do not want them to miss out on the fun that we're going to have today together. Let's see if we have any any additional people? Yeah, you're coming on in. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Michelle Bennett Copeland, and I am Youth Services Manager at our Central Library downtown. Thank you for joining us. We offer streaming story time Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. So tell your friends, tell your family to join in because we have someone awesome every day to bring stories to you so you can enhance your vocabulary, learn new words, learn new stories, and just see what services the library offer. We offer so many services. The libraries can not only offer our eBooks, download the Libby app if you don't have it already, please do it. It's so convenient You can read on your phone as you're riding in your car with the parents. Also, you can download music with Freebo. You can download movies through Hoopla. So please engage with our online resources after our streaming story time event today. Again, my name is Michelle Bennett Copeland and I am Youth Services Manager at our Central Library downtown. Today we have a special story time. I'm going to highlight Let's Move in Libraries. What is Let's Move in Libraries? Well, a few years ago, former First Lady Michelle Obama introduced the Let's Move campaign to Americans. She wanted to ensure that we all were focusing on health and wellness and physical activities, movement. We gotta keep our, keep our bones moving so we can live a long time. And we thought that that message was just important, just as important in our library world. So Fulton County Library System participates with Let's Move in Libraries. So if you notice my signage behind me, Let's Move in Libraries and with our Fulton County Library System logo and as well as my t-shirt. Anytime you see this logo, think about fitness, think about movement and exercise. And guess what? This is not just for children. This is for everybody. We want everybody to be it, focus on living a long time and longevity, but let's get busy and focus on the reason we're here. We're going to have a Let's Move in Library story time, so we're going to read two books together, and we're going to learn a very short dance routine. Wow. Okay, let's rock and roll. We're going to read one of my favorite books. I'm sure many of you have already heard it because it's a good book to me. The title of this book is Giraffes Can't Dance. 
The author of the book is Giles Andreas and Guy Parker Reese. Giraffes can't dance. Can someone tell me what you already know about giraffes? Yes, giraffes are found in a zoo or in Africa. Only two places in the world, at a zoo or in Africa. Therefore, if you ever have an opportunity to take a safari trip to Africa, why not do so? And you may find a giraffe. However, please um, focus on the important things we already know about giraffes. We know that they're very tall. They are way taller than we are, right? Yes. Long necks. Someone said they have long tongues. Absolutely. Yes. So let's see what Gerald has going on. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off of trees, but when he ran around every time, he buckled at his knees. Every time he ran around, he just fell down. So every year in Africa, there was a big party. There was a big jungle dance. So just imagine that you had a great big birthday party or a block party every year. And every single animal of the jungle turned it up and they skipped in prance. And this year, when the day arrived, Poor Joe felt so sad because when it came to dancing, guess what? He was really, really bad. Hmm. The war hawk started waltzing and the rhinos were rock and roll. The lions did a tango that was an elegant bow. Oh, the chips all did the cha-cha-cha with the very Latin feel. And eight baboons teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. But Joe, he swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. And the lions saw him coming and they all began to roar. Hey, look at Tommy Gerald, the animal sneered. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald, you are so weird. Can you imagine how that made Gerald feel? Pretty bad, I'm sure. And they did, because Gerald was rooted to the spot. He thought, you're right. I'm useless. I feel like a plot. So with that, he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. Gerald had never felt so sad before, so sad and alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed Cricket who had seen Gerald earlier on. Sometimes when you're different, you just sing a different song. So basically, Gerald, Cricket was telling Gerald, it's okay if you're different. It's okay if you don't dance like your friends. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Anything can make music if you really want it to. So with that cricket smile, he picked up his violin and then Gerald felt his body doing the most amazing things. His hose started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck started swaying and his tail started swishing around. Why, wow, what in the world? Then he threw his legs out sideways and flew them everywhere. He even did a backward somersault and leapt in the air. Gerald is doing it. 
And he felt wonderful. Look at that smile. His mouth was wide open. He shouted, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Yes, I am dancing. Gerald was so happy. And one by one, each of the animals who had been at the dance earlier on arrived while Gerald boogied on. And they watched him quite in trance. And guess what? They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald is the best dancer we have ever seen. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe that Gerald was dancing so good. Gerald, how did you dance like that? How did you learn to dance like that, Gerald? Please tell us how. But Gerald, he just simply twirled around and ended with a very nice bow. I couldn't believe it. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above and said, we all can find, we all can dance when we find music that we love. And that's the end of this story. How did you enjoy that? I hope you did. At the end of the, end of the book, they said we all can dance when we find music we love. And of course, when we hear our favorite songs, we love to do what? Dance. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andres and Guy Parker Reef. I hope you enjoyed it. And at the end of the day, we learned that giraffes actually can dance. Good deal. So what's next? Well, we're still focusing on fitness, health and wellness, and movement. So guess who's here? One of our favorites, Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat and the Cool Cat Boogie. Pete was with us yesterday with another story time session, which was absolutely wonderful. And Pete showed up again. Here he is today talking about a guy. The Cool Cat Boogie. Pete the Cat is by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's see what Pete has going on today. Pete the Cat was learning a new dance, The Cool Cat Boogie. Then Grumpy Toad came along. I really dig that song, but Pete, you dance. Oh, wrong. Pete didn't know what to say. So guess what he did? He turned and walked away. Pete couldn't sleep at all that night. And he thought, what if Grumpy Toad was right? What if my moves are bad? The thought of me not dancing really made Pete feel pretty sad. But guess what? Dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I love to dance. So let me just give it one more chance. Pete was still practicing the cool cat boogie when he saw his friend Squirrel. Hey, Squirrel, how do you dance? How do you groove? Do you think you can teach me how to move? Do you think Squirrel can do it? Squirrel should be able to do it. Let's see. Oh, sure, Pete, it's a simple song. Just cha-cha-cha and dance along. That should be pretty simple, huh? Doing the cha-cha. Let's see if Pete got those steps. Oh, yeah. Girls, Pete, you stepped on my toes. That is not how this dance goes. So what do you think Pete did? He didn't know what to say. So what did he do? He just turned and walked away. But you know, Pete, what did he say? Dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I love to dance. So let me just give it one more chance. You think I'm his next friend can help me? Let's see. Pete was still practicing the cool cat boogie. And he saw his friend Gus. Hey, Gus, Gus, how do you dance? How do you move? Do you think you can teach me how to move? You think Gus can do it? Gus should be able to do it because he looks like a pretty smart guy, doesn't he? 
Nothing. Sure, Pete, it's a simple song. Just do the robot and dance along. Now that should be pretty easy doing the robot, right? Ouch, Pete, you bought my nose. That is not how this dance goes. And you know, Pete, he didn't know what to say. So what did he do? He just turned and walked away. That was the best thing for him to do. And you know, Pete, again, dancing is like magic. When I hear a groovy beat, I'm full of happy in my feet. I love to dance. So let me just give it one more chance. And uh, Pete was still practicing what? The cool cat boogie. And he saw his friend Turtle. Hey, Turtle, how do you dance? Do you think you can teach me how to move? You think Turtle can do it? I think Turtle should be able to do it. Let's see. Sure, Pete, it's a simple song. Just shake your tail and dance along. Uh, now, he should be able to get that, right? Oh, no, Pete, you fell and you tripped over my shell. Look at that. Wow. Everybody knows that is not how this dance goes. Crash. Pete felt like giving up. But wise old owl had been watching from above. Wise old owl had been watching from his tree above and said, Pete, it doesn't matter how you move as long as you are being you. And that was a good message. Owl told him, it's okay if you don't dance like your friends, as long as you're being you, that's very important. And Pete agreed. He says, you're right. I never want to miss a chance to dance. But when you hear Groovy B and you're full of happy in your feet, you just dance, dance, dance. And that is the end of this story. At the end of the day, Pete learned how to do the cool cat boogie in his own way. Because why I told, I told him it was okay if you are not like your friends as long as you are being you. And it's really interesting that these two books are given the same message. Everybody is different as long as you are being you in a very good way. We learned about Pete Gerald, Gerald the giraffe, giraffes can't dance, and Pete the cat and the cool cat boogie. So we have something fun. We have something fun that we're going to do next. We're gonna learn a very short dance routine. How many of you like to dance? I do, great. We're gonna learn a very short dance routine. So if you are sitting down, let's stand up. Cross out the way. Let's stand up everyone. Very good. And let me if you put your listening ears on so we can learn this very short combination. Parents, you're included with this too. So let's see what we got. Listen up. We're gonna dig forward. One time on the right, one time on the left, just like this, moving forward. This with the rock. This is rock. Rock, rock, rock. We're gonna bring it back. Same thing. This is back. Two, three, four. Again, we're gonna rock forward two times. One on the right, one on the left, like this. Rock, rock, rock. Bring it back, bring it back, 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 back. From here, you wanna take your elbow up and bounce down. Two, three, four. Hold it right there. We're gonna nay, nay back for four times, just like this. One, two, three. From here, we're going to shoot it out like this. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're going to do the same thing again. Up and down. Two, three, four, and back. Shoot it out. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're going to point forward. Bring it back. 
Tell the world no. Turn around, rock right and left, right, right, left, again, point out and in, no to the world, around, hold it, rock, right, right, left, left, turn with the bow. Got it? Let's add our music. Alexa, play Kids by Old Town Road. Here we go, get ready. Old Town Road. Let's start out with our hands on our hips. This ball. Hands on your hips, feet together. We're going to bend our knees. Start you off for eight. Ready? Let's bend. Let's bend. Two, three, four, five, six. Right forward. Let's go. And rock. 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 Bring it back. Bring it back. Two, three. Again. Rock forward. Forward. Bring it back. Here we go. Up and down. Here we go. Up and down. Make it back. Shoot it out. Shoot. Two. Three. Again. Up and down. Make it back. Shoot it out. Shoot. 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 Can nobody tell me nothing? Turn around. Hold it here. Out. In. Nothing. Turn around and do it with a nice bow. My name is Michelle Bennett Copeland. Thank you so much for joining us with our stream time while streaming live story time. We're right here Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock. Thank you again. Please visit our online resources. Alexa, stop. Please, Alexa, stop. Please, pardon me. Please visit our online resources. Download books, visit Hoopla to download movies, Freegal, music. We have all sorts of resources, e-learning resources, and don't forget about Universal Classroom parents. So in your downtime or when you're at home trying to create work, get smart. And this is the library's website, and we have you will have an awesome experience. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. I'm Michelle Bennett Copeland, and thank you so much for engaging with us this morning. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to let's move in libraries, and we'll see you again soon. Have an awesome day.